time you saw a crime scene, it was probably on CSI or maybe in a Hollywood movie. Well, get ready to get up close and personal to a real murder scene and the people who see them every day. The Toronto Sun got access to go to work with a company that cleans crime scenes in Toronto. That's okay. They do everything from homicides to hoarders, and today I'm going in to clean a real homicide scene with them. The process for getting ready to go in is a far cry from preparing to do a little bit of spring cleaning. I suited up, pulled gloves on my hands, placed booties on my feet, and finally added a mask. We opened the door and in we went. The cleaning techs were hard at work and we learned about a few tools of the trade. Use it to uh, sanitize our equipment, walls, ceilings, floors, contents, fabrics, anything like that. And then I tried my hand at bloodstain removal. So Chris, tell us what goes into cre cleaning a crime scene from day one to finish. Well, first you'd want to know what you're walking into when technically you don't really know what you're walking into. So you don't know how gory it's going to be? Yeah, or? you don't know. Like okay. unless our boss tells us exactly what it is, we usually go in blind. Okay. But um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm walking into any day. So it could be blood brain matter, needles, disease, I have no idea. So you just walk in, make sure you're always prepared with PPE, mm -hmm. suit up and just get in there and then just assess the situation once you're actually in. Chris and Elizabeth say there is no one product or tool that does the job entirely. They rely on several cleaning solutions, tools and processes to remove body fluids and odors. So what is it like being a woman and doing this job? Because I, I, I feel like it's one of those industries that people assume it's a pretty male dominated industry. It is, but I find that women are more detail orientated. Like we'll take the time and really search to make sure that everything is clean. Right. And everything is uh, spot on. Done. Right. And you do some of the training for this job, as I understand. I do. I do the women's training. The women's training? Women's. Oh, women's. Sorry. <laughs> women's. Okay. So what makes a good, good employee to you? Somebody that is detail-oriented, somebody that is absolutely dedicated to the job, somebody that likes the job, and somebody that, you know, doesn't mind getting up at four in the morning to go out on a call. What do you like about your job? the end result. What I do is I make something that's so tragic into something right back to where it was before. What made you decide to want to do this? I was actually on maternity leave four years ago and uh, I was watching a show and my boss Christian was on it and I thought oh my god I think I can do that because I had been working as a bartender for 17 years beforehand and I was like, I've cleaned up puke, I've cleaned up everything. I could clean up blood. Went in, had a great talk with him, took the class, and I've been hooked. Good. Okay, so what is this? This is amino blue. What does amino blue do? Uh, it's just for like, finger, forensics use it to find uh, fingerprints, stuff like that. So. Okay, so you're washing off what forensics has put here? Yeah. What kind of things affect you? In your job? Um, basically nothing really affects me. I don't, I try to stay away from doing like clean up after kids because I do have a child of my own. So you mean anything where children have yes. been tragically related? Okay. Yes. Okay. How has this job changed the way you see the world or people? I like to find the good in everybody now and I like to find, like I like to search for that now because I see so much tragedy, I would rather just see light in people. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't given you a real dismal perspective of the world? No. As you can see, crime scene cleanup is not an easy job. It gets uh, extremely hot in here in these suits. We're in a home with no air conditioning. It's sweaty, it's hot, it's messy, it's dirty, and uh, 
It's a job and someone's got to do it. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Victoria Potashnik.